Hi, I'm the Boss Problem Buster, founder of the Pay Raise Commando, a senior organizational consultant of 24 years, having worked across cultures, industries, and ranks. I'm also a social psychologist with a master's and a bachelor's degrees, both with honors. My team and I train past over corporate professionals like you to get that pay raise and promotion you're overdue for so that you can finally kill your Monday blues before you see further and bring your inner joy back, which is the best part of my job and the goal of this channel. Kill your Monday blues and bring your inner joy back. Now, back to the salt mine. This video and the next are very different from the rest of this Sex in the Workplace deck in that we go past the professional into the personal by confronting you with two very inconvenient truth bombs about your office romance. So buckle up. Up till now, through all the havoc your office romance was causing all around you, at the office, and with all the rising tensions between you and your co-workers and you and your boss, you had one personal silver lining going for you and to offset this professional entanglement the fact that you and your shmoopy were a united front a loving unit of two facing it all together today and next time however you're going to find out how that could potentially reverse making your office romance situation a most frustrating and painful one causing you a career setback even your workplace. How so? Well, we're going to see what happens if you're both equally driven. And it's not going to be lackluster or wishy-washy. We're going straight for the jugular by forcing you to entertain two unsettling yet very realistic prospects. The first is a clash between your personal life, i.e. your office romance, and your professional life, i.e. your promotion and pay raise aspiration. The second unsettling but realistic prospect is the heartache of a breakup of your office romance with the added stress of continuing to work shoulder to shoulder on the same team afterwards. And here's a spoiler, if you're both equally driven, you are on a collision course with the countdown already in progress and the collision just waiting to happen. So hold on tight and let's run this simulation of how your office romance might not only come between you and your chances for a promotion and pay raise, but also come between you and your schmoopy and how it could make you face a heart-wrenching dilemma, love or money. So which will it be for you, love or money? How sure are you of your choice? Would you like to reconsider? See if it changes by the end of this video, but for now, brace yourself for this ride. We've got a lot to cover. Let's go. The number seven office romance boss problem that might screw up both your, your chances for a promotion and a pay raise and your relationship is, if both of you are eligible, none of you is getting it. Yet another inconvenient truth bomb to the pile, but this is only half of it, the professional half. The second personal half is as inconvenient and as true. And that is, if you are both equally driven, your lover is actually your competitor. See, I told you today we go past the professional into the personal. And this uh, lover competitor inconvenient truth bomb, you may brush it under the rug all you want, but it's there, lurking. It will come to the forefront when an actual opportunity for a promotion arises, especially for a coveted position, all the more so if it comes on the market, so to speak, only once in a blue moon and, as with any other promotion, it can land in the lap of only one person. So let's break it all down. First, the professional half, because that's the main reason we're here. In case you and your shoopy are both truly eligible for a promotion and or a pay raise, or just think you both are, and since it is not likely that two co-workers can be promoted at the same time from the same team, certainly not for the same position, and since it is also not likely that two co-workers can get the exact same pay raise at the same time, if at all, then 
when the opportunity arises, your boss would probably just rule both of you out. He or she would not want to deal with the possibility of one of you being disgruntled. Why? Three reasons. A. It is more difficult to manage such a person. B. It hurts team morale and performance. And C. Why rock the boat even further? The situation of having an office romance within your team, speaking from your boss's point of view, makes it delicate and intricate enough to manage. No need to add to it the tensions of the couple having issues with one another, which a choice of one over the other for a promotion and or a pay raise might very well do, and then the couple also might break up. So even a greater headache in regards to tensions within the team, who needs it? Better just pass them both over. At this point, there's an important emphasis and distinction that needs to be made. What I've just described is different from the previous video, Office Romance Boss Problem number six, where your boss wouldn't promote you or give you a pay raise because of your Brangelina fused brand. If you've missed that one or any of the others, catch up on the lot right here and I'll put a link in the description as well. How is it different? Well, here on number seven, your boss is consciously and deliberately overruling both of you despite acknowledging that both of you are eligible. Why? Because he or she is afraid of the ramifications of promoting only one of you or giving a pay raise to only one of you or giving a higher pay raise to one of you over the other because it's a potential mess. As in the previous video, number six, your boss did not even consider you because your individual professional brand was fused with that of your schmoopy, hence Brangelina, to the point that it was unclear what unique contribution, if any, either of you bring to the table. So here on number seven, you are a contender who gets disqualified because of your office romance, whereas in the previous video, number six, you were not even a contender because of your office romance. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Marlon Brando on the waterfront, 1954. My Remington Steel syndrome just kicked in again. Forgive me. It's on a Tourette's level by now. It's a condition. What can I say? Just have mercy on my soul and let's move on. There are other instances where your boss might decide against both of you, even though you are both deemed eligible, just because of your couplehood, meaning that had you not been a couple, he or she would have chosen one of you. Those instances are any kind of downsizing, which is, as we all know, corp corporate for firing. I can't stand corporate euphemisms. I prefer clear, direct speech. I find it more truthful and respectful whenever dealing with adult, hopefully intelligent, people. Anyway, such firing could be the result of any substantial shock to the business, be it internally driven, because of losing a big account, the company's product or service becoming obsolete and so forth, or externally driven, such as a national recession or even a depression, or worse yet, a global one, or all of the above. Say your boss is putting together that infamous list of who's going to get fired. The list on which, by the way, he will find himself soon after, he or she. Here, once again, if it is impossible to accommodate both of you, he or she will prefer to sack both of you. Why? Because why add to the already brewing tensions by keeping only one of you and potentially having that one be resentful and disgruntled because Schmoopy was sacked? Thus, in such an instance, your couplehood will have not only hindered your promotion and pay raise, but actually rendered you both unemployed. 
which does not mean it's not worth it for you. As always, I'm just laying the facts before you as nobody else will so that you can be aware of all the risks and make an informed decision. If you'd like the full transcript of this video and all the videos on this channel, see the link in the description. It's on our website bossproblembuster.com because it's too long to paste here, so not a trick to get you there. But if you do hop over, you'll find many practical reads and a forum where you can discreetly and anonymously ask us anything in regards to landing that promotion and pay raise to which we reply very quickly. So if you'd like to get a promotion with a pay raise or a pay raise independent of a, of a promotion, kill your Monday blues and bring your inner joy back then subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that we can meet again.